get on Beybladers, Blade Bay X here, and we are going to attempt a Beyblade Nuzlocke. We're going to try and follow as close as we can the rules to a regular Pokemon Nuzlocke, but of course we're going to have to make some changes. After we pick our starter Bay, we're going to work our way through the mainline story battles. We're going to do the rival battles, the gym battles, Team Rocket leader battles, and the Elite Four battles. Each of those battles, the gym leader, rival, or whoever, are going to get random Beyblades equal to the amount of Pokemon that they would usually have for that battle. For ourselves, the way we gain Beyblades, we get to have one random encounter before each gym battle. And we need to beat that Bey in order to add it to our deck. Now, our deck is going to be like our usual six or sorry up to six Pokemon we can have on us but what you'll see here is this is going to serve as my box so I can box Beyblades just in case I'm <laughs> going to lose a battle I'll still, I'll still be in there I want to uh, run out of Pokemon this is going to be where I keep my deck of Beyblades or my six Bays this is going to be our opponent's deck it's going to be best of three for each round. Now with the rules when it comes to switching bays and switching Pokemon in rounds. I think we might have to figure that out as we go along. I was thinking about some funky rule where if you've lost one round or one of the best of three rounds. You can switch out for another Pokemon. Uh, sorry, another Beyblade. But I'm not sure how that's going to work. We're going to figure out a lot of stuff for the first time here. Now to make sure all the Beyblade encounters and gym battles are good and random I have all of my plastic gen Beyblades that don't have any repeats um, in the Daruma bag of Random Doom here so for each encounter I'll grab out a chunk of Beyblades and then to make sure it's random and I'm not picking them by feel I'm going to pick out a number equal to one of these dice here roll that and that's the number that's going to be the encounter or what we're going to do for the uh, gym leaders uh, bays as well our starter bays though are right here so we're going to choose from between I don't know if this Beyblade has an official name it's a mix of Metal Dragoon with a uh, semi-flat base, but <laughs> it's, it's pretty basic. Um, I don't even know what the weight disc is, I'll kind of take this off. Okay, yeah, just a regular heavy eight. We have our Sparking Attacker, without the flint, might I add, just to make it... Uh, <laughs> even worse and here we have one of our more random Beyblades as a starter bound attacker without its sub attack ring um, I don't actually own the sub attack ring for it so yeah I thought these were the most starterish looking Beyblades that I own so I thought they would be perfect and definitely not too powered to be a starter E6 1-2 Three, four, five, six. We get a six. We get bound attacker without the sub attack ring. This might have been the worst out of the three. <laughs> we get a flat base, heavyweight disc, and the uh, bound attack ring without the sub attack ring. Oh, I'll say that, can we even get it back on? Oh, here we go. Our first Beyblade. And in typical fashion, our rival needs to pick one of these two. So we'll roll the D4. One, two, three, four. Four. Our rival starts off with a sparking attacker. Amazing. We'll now release our Metal Dragoon back into the wild. So here we have it, our first battle with blue, my bound attacker against this sparking attacker.
Let it rip. Come on. Don't lose it this early on. We take round one. I'm worried that his attack ring is going to be able to... No, no it's not. We take it. We have officially made it through the first battle in our Nuzlocke. Let's go. Bound attacker all the way to the end. So now on to our next battle. Now this is a compulsory one, but if you try and enter Victory Road before uh, your Puget City Gym battle, you will get a second encounter with your rival blue and this time you all have two Pokemon so let's get let's get uh, a few randoms out and let's see what we want for and then that that metal dragoon really wants to be in there we got one two three four five six seven eight perfect let's roll a d8 so here we go one two three four five six seven eight Five. One, two, three, four, five. A Galsy. Let's see if we can roll one of the remaining numbers without three roll five. Eight. Dragoon B2. Okay, that's the end of our Nuzlocke. Well done. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, I'm not feeling good about this one. Maybe it was a bad idea to have a. or take a non compulsory battle. But let's see. Worst is going to happen is we just start again. First up, we'll be taking on his Galsy. Three, two, one, let it rip. We've got a chance with Galsy. It's prone to a. Uh, I'll just shut up then. I was going to say it's prone to a self KO, but we might possibly have the lightest Beyblade ever. So, And we've lost our bit chip somewhere. We are bit chipless. There you are, blending in with the dice tray. Round two, let it rip. We get a redo on that one, right? Yeah, we get a redo on that one. Let it rip. And thus ends our chances at finishing first attempt anyway like share subscribe all the good stuff comment down below what you want to see next okay so what did we learn from that last run um, one maybe don't take battles you don't have to in a nuzlocke uh, which makes sense now you think about it uh, two maybe don't make your first Beyblade have to be one of the three most terrible Beyblades. So I think we're going to randomize it properly this time. Like we would do in a randomized Nuzlocke. So let's grab out some Bays here. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's grab one more. 12. There's some pretty good Beyblades here and our old friend again, who I think might have broken in that last battle. Doesn't look healthy. Anyway. Okay. Math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Beautiful. Alright. So. Here. I'm going to roll this three times and then we're going to decide our starting day from those three. That was cocked. One. We'll take eight. Very nice. Eight. Zeus. Not so nice, but combo potential. And finally, seven. 
Dr. Seal S. I think it's not terrible if we get any of these. Mm. If we get Voltaic Ape, maybe we win. If we get... If our rival doesn't get Voltaic Ape <laughs> in this battle, maybe we, maybe we do okay. One, two, three, four, five, six for our blade. Four. Oh! Oh, would you look at that? We got him. We got Voltaic Ape. Yeah. Another lot completed. This is an amazing stock bay blade. Let's see what our rival gets. This time we'll just do odds and evens. Odds. Graciel S. Hey. Our oh, luck. Is looking a lot better this time around. Here we go. Three, two, one, letter it. Three, two, one, letter it. What? This is not good. Three, two, one, letter it. We have, oh god, your CLS is breaking all over the place. This is going to be an expensive video. No way! No way. Look what your CLS sacrificed for that win, just to end on Nuzlocke. On the first battle. Wow. We got one of the best stock blades. And then did worse on the last one. And we're down at your CLS. Okay, we're going for one more attempt at this before I give up. Let's at least get past the first gym. Come on. Let's break all barriers. Let's get past that first gym. Let's get out a few bay plates. He desperately wants to be in the starting lineup. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Every time. Wow. Spike Lizard, Bound Attacker, Wing Attacker, Galsy, Flash Leopard 1, and Metal Trigger. Some good choices in there. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, four. Galsy. One. Spike Lizard. Oh god, we're gonna lose again. Five. Flash Leopard. This is a good move, Blade. Could have really done with that heavy metal core. That would have been nice. Let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, yes. That's what I was hoping for. Flash Leopard one. We're in with a chance. What does our rival get? Odds, evens. Odds. They get Galsy again. Can we get redemption? It's the Red Beast. Three, two, one, let it rip. Big hits. Flash Leopard's got some air time. We should win this. Although the tip on Flash Leopard's blade face is, I think, a bit wonky, so that's working against us. But we take round one. Let it rip. We got it getting underneath us. Nearly KOs KO himself. If we get through this, I've got a good feeling about Flash Leopard, man. And we are there. So, Galsy, you're out of here. And Flash Leopard 1 goes into our deck. So this time round, we are skipping the optional rival battle, you might have assumed. And we're going to go straight to Brock, but we get one random encounter.
before we go there. Grab a chunk of Beyblades. And there's four. Wow, that metal, that metal uh, Dragoon type combo really, really wants to get picked. Alright, here's it gonna be one, two, three, four. I know which one I'd prefer it to be. Four. Yeah, that wasn't it. Yeah, you, you, you get a new chance. Alright. One chance to beat him and add another bay to the arsenal. Right. <laughs> well, I think we got it. Now we have two Beyblades. We have to ask the question, do we take them both with us? Do we do any edits? Do we custom a bay and leave one in our box? You know, I'm tempted to switch out the base. We're going to lose a lot of weight. I mean, I would say that typically this is a good base, but I don't know if you can see it on the camera here. That tip is not how you buy it stock. That is all leaning to the side here. You know, I think the best bet is to just take them both in. If we lose with Flash Leopard, we're not winning with uh, just this Metal Dragoon <laughs> combo here. So, on to our first gym battle against Brock. His Geo Dude and Onyx, which will be represented by two of. Oh, is that one, two, three, four, five? These six Beyblades. That'd be pretty fitting if you got Rock Bison, wouldn't it? Master and Kid in there again. I gotta shuffle everything down to the bottom next time. Alright, first pick for Brock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. Yep, he gets it. He gets the Rock Bison. And same again. Two. And Kid Dragoon. Three, two, one, let it rip. Come on, Flash Leopard. You can do it. I believe in you. Yes. Does that count? Does that I don't know if it counts. Is it still spinning? I think we get that round. I don't know if this counts as spinning. Does that count as spinning? It is spinning. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say we got that round. Executive call. Three, two, one, let it run. Engine gear doing some work on Rock Bison. It looks like we've still got more stamina. And yeah, that's ours. Rock Bison fainted. Next up, Kid Dragoon. Leopard was a great starter. Oh no! Oh no! No, no, no! That's not what we want. Oh no! Now we're 1 KO from losing our Flash Leopard. Losing our starter. Let it rip! Come on, Flash Leopard. Pass the claw. Is that your attack? Yes. 
Let's get a replay of that hit. Pass the claw. We did it. We knocked Brock out of there. And we got our boulder badge. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're our next encounter, we've got a choice. We either fight Misty, who only has two Pokemon, or we fight our rival again, who has four Pokemon already. I think we're going to go for Misty first, so we get an encounter beforehand. Our next random encounter days. Let's dig in the bottom look down here. Man, I can see just bits of Brazil S all over the place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Ooh, some good Beyblades in here, some good parts. Okay. Well, I wouldn't say no to a Drigger S. And I also wouldn't say no to BBA. Uh, no, not Defensor. Is it Defensor or Stam uh, Survivor? I think it's Survivor. Sorry, the Stamina one, the Galman clone. The uh, S base would be nice to get. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Damn, Grifolium. Probably my last pick out of all of those Beyblades. Not probably, definitely my last pick out of all of those Beyblades. Anyway, hopefully we get a Grifolium in our deck. No, <laughs> no, we don't get a Grifolian in our deck. <laughs> oh, the shame, the shame. That might be the end of the Nuzlocke there. Oh my God, the run's over. <laughs> oh, no, no, <laughs> we haven't even got a third day. Oh, even if we beat Misty, what's the point? Anyway, on to beat Misty. What Beyblades is she going to have? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that. Very helpful. Oh my god. Misty's going to crush us. If she gets any two of these Beyblades, she'll probably crush us. Oh god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five. Galleon. Very nice. Four. Guy Dragoon. Also. Or Guy Dragoon V. Also very nice. I think we're gonna lose. Let it rip. Come on, come on, Flash Leopard. You got this. I've seen you win this matchup before. Come on. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we're screwed. We've lost already. This is not good. <laughs> no. No. Can we switch out? Can we switch out Beyblades? Am I just playing with the rules now just to make things easier? Yes, I kind of am. All right, we'll have to establish it here and now though. If you switch out, if that, if the B you switch in, if you've already got a loss, sorry, let's start that again. If you're switching Beyblades, like in my current situation, that Beyblade's already on one loss. So we'll count it as that slot. I've got two slots. I've got my Flash Leopard and my Metal Dragoon. If I switch out when one of them's already taken a loss, if the Beyblade I switch in loses, then it's gone, it's KO'd. And I still start with that other Beyblade as a fresh, fresh start. <laughs> We're bending the rules. We're bending the rules. I think it's fair. It's all good. Not that this is going to win us anything. It's just going to lose us a Metal Dragoon. Oh, God. Three, two, one. Let it rip.
Come on, my little goon. Go on. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> bye bye, Metal Dragoon. Oh. Alright. Flash Leopard. Mwah. He's starting a fr fresh start. Fresh start for Flash Leopard. You can do it. Three, two, one, let it rip. Come on. Come on. Don't get caught up hitting it. Some attack ring. It's better. No. No. Don't hit. That's where you lose. Come on. Come on. No. <laughs> Misty. You cruel icy witch. I'm going to bed. So this is me not going to bed. I had so much fun making this video. I hope if you stuck around to this point you've had fun too, so please do all the likes, subscribes, comments and such. Do jump in the comments, let me know if there's any cool combos you want me to chuck in to the random pool of bays because I am definitely going to be doing this again. This was so much fun to do. Man, i got to be misty. i got to get at least that far on the next one. Uh, but then we've got blue straight afterwards. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.